back with another live stream how is everybody doing today so we're back with some more state of decay 2 um this is the beta and uh we've been checking out the new forever community update and did a fresh lethal zone playthrough and we're kind of just utilizing the system to see how we can apply it to a lethal zone playthrough and so far it's been really cool you know i've been able to take survivors out of other communities um bring them over as needed now uh last episode unfortunately uh we lost bob we lost bob and uh it, it was it was quick guys quick it, we hit a, we hit a bloater pod and uh yeah three bloaters bob was done so we are back down to four survivors which is fine because we needed our fourth survivor to get into the base and uh honestly we're probably in a more comfortable spot i don't i don't want to say um you know it's a good thing that bob is gone but we can make do with the fact that Bob is gone. <laughs> but other than that, um, how's everybody doing today? Huh? The what? Oh, uh, they're in the right on the edge, back of them. Turbo Brick, what is going on? How you doing? <laughs> Bob equals bloater food. All right, so I got to change this over because it was on PS5. There it is. So we are back with some more State of Decay. Ooh. Oh, I got to get in and uh, get my bearings. We're already seven days survived on this community. Um, so today we're going to be doing We're going to start off chill. Um, we're going to do some looting. Try to see if we can just get some stuff because honestly, this is uh, this is probably one of my least equipped communities based out on a supremely critical opportunity and now we've missed our chance would you folks mind a few extra members um we're very very like under equipped when it comes to weapons and stuff oh yeah infestation let's go deal with that immediately uh i'm gonna grab some fire but uh yeah so we're gonna go around we're gonna get some food today um and we're going to do some looting. Is there cars in this game? Yes, there's cars in this game. Uh, cars that you got to put gas in. All types of stuff. All right, you'll actually be able to see my cars out here. They're in tip-top uh, shape. I mean, this one's seen better days, but it, it's, it's, it's all right. Here, I'll, I'll, make it, I'll make it nice and clean. Uh, you get the Haven device from Trumbull Valley. Um, there's a, a mission set that you have to do. Come on, repair, repair. It's, it's too close to this. I'm getting like the double device. So we're going to back it up a smidge. And uh, now I'll be able to repair it. Yo, it's still giving me a hard time. Yo, this, this parking spot is a pain in my ass. There we go. Jeez. And look at that. She's beautiful. All right, let's see. So we got about a quarter of a tank. We'll throw some gas in. And we're going to head down and take care of these infestations really quick. But yeah, you get the Haven device from Trumbull Valley. Um... There's some missions that. Ooh. I got an enclave asking me for food. Please don't be these ones. Nope. And. It sucks because they want food, and food is what I need for my community, but I would not mind getting some more uh, <clears throat> friendly enclaves. Triple Feral, of course. I just made... I just repaired this damn thing, man. I got two of the three Ferals, so... I'll just take care of... Ooh, infestation's coming out. We're gonna SOD1 this infestation. Uh, 
Or he's dead. So back in SOD1 days, you used to, uh... Let's we'll fight these guys. I don't want to bang my car up any more than I already did. Got most of them. Um, I've never played Dead by Daylight, not yet. Nico's from Greece. How can you? How are you doing? So, um, yes, you can put armor on your car. Yep. Um, there's upgrade kits that you can make or buy, uh, and you can upgrade your cars, make them armored, and. Uh, Stuff like that. This should be it for that infestation. Awesome. Alright, so... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I already cleaned this place out. We'll check. Um, there's only one lootable left. I doubt it's a ruck of food because I'm pretty sure I came in here and already got the ruck of food out. Until we take out that nearby plague heart, this place can't really be secure. Might be able to get meds though. Tronic, what's going on? No nope, firecrackers, of course. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna be doing some looting. Um, you know we'll hit. Yeah, we'll hit the shed um, before taking off. Now that our car is all jacked up. Trying to avoid. Combat with these zombies for right now. I'm gonna sneak around the backside here. Let this horde pass. And uh we should be good to clean out this shed. I wouldn't mind some friendly help about now. Oh, uh, the beach was awesome, Z. Yeah, we had we had a good time. It was hot. It was real hot. There we go. Boom. Get some doors back on our car. I don't know if I'm gonna waste that right now. Um, I'm not too concerned about the doors at the moment. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Now I'll be able to craft up some more uh, Molotovs because we are running low. Gas can. Look at that. Perfect. Yo, this shed was a winner. All 
right, we'll drop this. And let's go grab that fuel ruck, or the other ruck, and then we'll be uh, we'll be on our way. We're gonna drop the stuff back at base, and then I think we're gonna start by looting out this town. We cleared it out last episode. Um, we made it relatively safe. I do have, I believe, I, had, I, I I did hit all the food locations. So no, I don't believe I have a food location left. So I was like, I, I believe I have one food location left, but it seems like that is not the case. Facts. The network? Yeah, I'm not counting on them for much. Be careful. Screamer there. So, I'm trying to think, guys. Where the hell can I get some food? This whole area is looted. I mean, I know I can come down here and get food, but... And I think I could probably hit a spoon and cone over here, but I was trying to save those areas for later on. And I can't believe how much of the map I've already cleaned out. I feel like I've, I've already cleaned out so much of the map and I have nothing to show for it. You know what I mean? Beauty, what is going on? How you doing? Now, I could, um, I could activate rationing again and get a food surplus because right, oh no, we already have rationing enacted right now. So, yep, it's, yeah, so never mind. Uh, we're zeroed out on food. So I'm going to drop this. Come in, I'm going to grab a, some bullets. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll drop that and I'll grab the... Nine millimeter. Chica, how you doing today? Bad Wolf, how you doing this afternoon? All right. So we'll start off. Spoon and cone's already been hit. There's a suds. Spawn shop. Lens goods. Some materials. More materials. Library. We can get fuel over there. Yeah, so looting in that town's not going to cut it right now. Um, meds. Up here is two, like, warehouse-type buildings. House, shed. So we're going to grab the cell tower here. And, uh, because I know I can hit this tartan mart and this swine and bovine. So we are going to have to go up here. I didn't want to, I was trying to Hello save these areas there. for later in the game. Um, so it's a shame that we're having to crack into this so much right now, but I guess it, it is what it is. Um, I'm just going to have to get another so. food outpost. And I'll, I'll, I'll get to crafting some food. How about that? All right. So I was going to go out with the survivor, but he's tired. Get him back on base defense. Uh, here's your up. Something would fucking go right for Dude, it's not that bad. Uh, so we'll be playing this, and then here in a little bit, I figured we might play some uh, No Man's Sky. 
some No Man's Sky. It seemed like you guys really enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. So I just figured, you know what? Let's, uh, whoops, I accidentally used a freaking energy drink. That sucks. Okay. So we got that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking about just rocking the 16 bullets we got. Uh, Is anyone going to step up and take charge around here? Pretty sure we'll be okay. If I run into a feral, I'll just... Uh, 16 bullets should be enough to take out one feral. Now, if I run into three ferals, then, uh, yeah, we, we just got to get the hell out of there. And we are going to bring the beat-up-ass truck. We're going to park it at our outpost. Actually, no. I don't, I don't have an outpost over here. I'm going to test it. Oh, it rolls over nice, guys. It rolls over real nice. I like State of K2 more than State of K1. The, it just controls better as a game, obviously, because it's newer. Silas, how you doing? Okay, so we're going to get up here. We're going to scout um, with the cell tower. I did not want to know what makes plague territory smell this bad. Okay, I'll, I'll try, brother. about this checkpoint. I think this is one Paul was talking about. There's always three containers and I can never find the third. There it is. That's some nine mil. <clears throat> Uh, three rounds of 50 cal. That's not bad. Seeing as every single individual round of 50 cal is equivalent to one base ammo in lethal. Uh, let me see. Is it down here? Something in this ravine? Yep. So this is a military roadblock. I was hoping for some military, uh, grade weapons out of this, like something, but we did get an ammo rock though. We'll take that gladly. And some loose rounds. Nothing super great. Silas, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Those are the guys that want the food. I don't know what I'm going to be. I don't know if I can really help them in my current situation. Like a rucksack of anything else I'd have been cool with. All right, let's get this area scouted first and then we'll go start looting. Looks like nobody else is home. But with a play card around, that won't last. <laughs> Nothing here. Let's hope the next one's a winner. So I know for a fact I can get... Well, not for a fact, but I should I be able to break. get two food rucksacks from what I can see so far and maybe even a third because i think there is a food yep fruit stand right there now that place can make a handy outpost a 
bloater. So gross. Looks like another plague heart. What a few hearts over here. That's enough looking around for now. Okay, so let's see here. We got four hearts in the region. Trumbull Valley Trader might have food. I'm actually thinking about... And there's a military base up here. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that too. Um, let's go check out that trader really quick. I got some influence. We'll, we'll loot this Tartan Mart, and then I'll head over there. I won't I won't push down to the Swine and Bovine yet. Trouble Charlie, or it's the Trumbull might, uh, Trader might have some food. Now, I plan on trying Dead by Daylight. Um, I actually bought it and installed it. Uh, I was going to play it a few weeks back, and I ended up dropping it for something else. I forgot what happened. I think I was gonna play it with Casper, and then he like couldn't play that day or something, so then I didn't play it. I was in. The, uh, you can ask Eldridge. I was in the chat. I was trying to get him, and he he he, he was not. He wasn't down for it. I wasn't scared. Eldritch, you know the truth. You know I wasn't scared. I was ready. Calvin, with the five gifted members, brother. Thank you so much. Dude, that is huge. Seriously, I really appreciate that. And uh, those of you guys who got the gifted membership, welcome to the family. My voice was trembling. <laughs> Look at all those green names. It is awesome. Thank you so much, Kevin. I really do appreciate that. Nah, I'm not scared. No, I mean, how, how, how scary could Dead by Daylight really be? You know what I mean? It's... And hey, Mike, you like the story, dude? My, my Gladius... All right, you know what? I actually might sell this spoon box, too. I might sell the 50 cal rounds also. I'm not a huge... Well, I want to say I'm not a huge 50 cal user because I love 50 cals, but the chances of me getting the 50 cal that I'll actually use is pretty low. So I, the, the influence might help me out now more than uh, three rounds of 50. But I'll think on it. It should that horde shouldn't follow me all the way over here. So I don't think I'll be able to loot this place out because the trader's here. So I think it might eliminate all the loot. Hi there. Yeah, for sure. I'm Damn it, Alexis. Visiting from Trumbull Valley. Anything you need? Oh, yes. Two bags of food. That's exactly what we need. Yeah, we'll sell this. I'll grab that other bag of food. Rocket GTO, how you doing? Drop that in there. I wish I could dismiss her as a traitor. Let's see if I can. I'm with the network, oh. visiting from Trumbull Valley. Anything you need? I'll just have to come back. Because this place could have loot in it. Um, but the fact that she's here, I can't see it. Hikari, how you doing? So I got three bags of food. 
that should hold us over for quite a while. I don't... I could go grab this fourth and run the food down to the lodgers here. We'll go see um, what kind of enclave the lodgers are and if they're worth giving this bag of food. Probably gonna have to swing by an outpost for some fuel though. Uh, yeah, we can hit that one. I wonder if the booze people have food. Do you think so? I don't think they do. Listen to you do what I want to be doing. <laughs> Kari, I hear that. I do appreciate you being here listening. Okay, so we got our workshop now back up to level two. Uh, let me get my water back on for morale purposes. Grab some gas and we'll keep it. Alright, uh, we'll drop that. I will go ahead and. I was thinking about using another repair kit, but yo, I think. Well, how many? I've only used one repair kit this episode, right? Or have I used two? So if I've used two, that's, that's way too much. I actually need more gas than this. It's only going to give us half a tank, but let's go check out this enclave. We hit a little pit stop there in my outpost. Got some fuel. Out of all the resources, man. Where are you at? Uh, Peace out. Take care. Wyatt? Joe. Just got some monster health though. Alright. Thank you. Bye bye now. I mean, they kind of paid for oh, it. Hey they gave me a hundred. <laughs> Cryptic said <laughs> Cryptic said the car has two doors too many. <laughs> oh, hey there. Alright, let's see what this enclave has. Yeah, so it's a regular enclave, which is cool. Um, decent there. survivors here. Hello there. Yeah, some pretty decent survivors. So nice to see you. Hey there, business partner. All right. And of course, you know, I could just buy the bag of food back from them. I'll buy the gas too. And there is nothing else to loot in this area. So these guys have been trouble for us in the past. So I think they spawned from a mission. I'm just going to ignore them. I'm actually going to go over here and uh, cancel these guys because we're not going to recruit them. That just ain't happening. That is not happening. Ooh. Oh. Trying to get my ass again, man. These bloaters are out for me this playthrough. <clears throat> These damn bloaters are out for me. Anyone out there wants to 
swap. We've got goods. Mm. I do not want to know what makes plague territory smell this bad. Let's see what kind of traitor this is. Looks like nobody else is home. But with a plague card around, that won't last. Oh, so this straight disbands them. All right, let me see. Do, what do you guys have to trade? Today? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess we're disbanding you, Pat. I hate to say no, but no. Really? Of course, now there's a thousand zombies near my car. He's in this house, maybe. Capital, what is going on? Um, do you feel that the game balance needs adjustment, like the ability to stack influence and in camp at a church? Um, I wouldn't. No, there, there's really no way for them to balance that kind of stuff because there's like, there's always it's a single player game. You know what I mean? There, it's it's not like it's online competitive game. So that way, that that's the fun in games like this, being able to find systems that you can combine with each other and stack and build like really, really strong things. Um, you know, if they were to just try to fine tune the game to like, it, it would be really, really, really bad. So no, um, Arter, anything I do on the beta stays on the beta. It's, um, it is it is up to a player to just you know if a player doesn't like the op stuff they you can just stay away from it you know what i mean um just don't do it but yeah anything you do on the beta stays on the beta there's nothing like so all this progress i'm doing here yeah this is just all on beta but that, that's the point is i'm just here to test you know what i mean we're here to test it out Got him. Long report. Thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. All right, let's get all these resources in base. So the sun is going down, but we took care of our food problem. And resource wise, we're looking really good. Um, all across the board, we got good numbers. I won't have to worry about food for a while. Um, as long as I keep rationing enacted, it's going to be going off in four minutes. So we're gonna have to make sure we hit it again. Got water. Um, let's see. So now let's head into town. Now that our resources are good, we're going to go around and just kind of poke around these areas and see what we can get. We might be able to get some more gas out of here too. So I'll park over here. We'll head into town. I wouldn't mind trying to get my hands on few more parts so we can craft I, I would like to get a uh like a stack of i don't know really or four or so repair kits go ahead and get over yourself, huh? damn shandy's mad Brand, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell people to do that. You trying to kill people in the chat, dude? Brand's over here trying to get people alcohol poisoning. <laughs> trying to get people alcohol poisoning. That's that's murder. That's legitimate murder. I was thinking about hitting a bounty broker for weapons at this point, because 
We've done. Uh, one, two, three, four, maybe five or six. We'll be all right. Sucks that we can't enjoy these quiet moments anymore. I can't keep this up. That's first degree. That's that's easily first degree murder. Repair kit. Boring. Nope. So we did get those parts I asked for, though. Yeah, eight parts. Wow, that was that was really awesome. Building. Really, really awesome. All right, so we hit that. That's already hit. Yeah, we'll just go straight over to doing these. Ooh, this is a spare parts trader. Oh, uh, uh, no. I ain't going to spend the uh, influence getting parts. We'll manufacture them. I got a lot of um, melee weapons. I believe that we can scrap for parts. Let me see. Yeah, we got more than enough melee weapons we could scrap for parts. Like, I got three damn sledgehammers. So, yeah, we'll get rid of this. Buy a noodle knife. Keep sledge and drive shaft club. We'll get rid of the chef knife. And keep everything else. So we're up to 558 parts there. Oh, so I don't actually, so I was about to say that. So you can, I don't have the key to salvage one bound. I actually have to go ahead and find that. It's a whole new key. Let's see. Interface. So I don't, I don't think they built the key for it yet, because I don't see the key anywhere on here. Um, there's you sell because right now, if I were to try to salvage these breaks, for instance, I can if I hit the button, I'll salvage the whole stack. Like you can't just salvage one. And if you guys see, uh, I have to get, I'll get rid of myself for a second here. You guys see behind me, uh. It pops up there and it says unbound salvage one, but I can't find the command in the inventory, like in the, in the settings. So I don't know if that is just not in the game yet. And so I, the a way around that is I'll just take one and then I'll just salvage this and put it back. And yeah, we'll get rid of this. It's only a 15 round capacity. <clears throat> 10 round, seven round. I'll keep both 45s for right now too. So there is a feral in between me and that house. I'm going to clear out this road before I drive the car over there. Enjoy peace 
eternal, asshole. Okay, so the feral doesn't exist anymore. Got another freak. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> How's the salvage one button working? It doesn't. You forgot us to let. You forgot to let us find it. What would you do if you came across someone in the store wearing my face? What do you mean, like, like a, like a, like a cardboard cutout face of mine? It'd be a little, a little weird. Like, dude, there's so many other like. Prettier faces you could have picked. Oh, like wearing, oh, somebody wearing like, yes. <laughs> like you, the way you said it, I, I literally imagined someone like having like a cardboard cutout of my face and like wearing it over their face. And I'm like, that would be pretty weird. You know what I mean? But no, yeah, if I walked up and like seen so, I'd be blown away. I'd be absolutely blown away if I seen somebody wearing like mer merch of mine. That'd be crazy. Yeah, like payday style. <laughs> exactly. Leon, how you doing today? Good enough. Oh, so we got a bag of materials. We should be able to get two out of these uh, unfinished houses. Uh, yes, Hikari. So I actually do. Um, no room. So the cool thing about uh, the beta is how you guys asked if you can transfer beta stuff over to the main game you can't you, you can't do it but you can take your main game stuff and transfer it into the beta so that's why my forever community that's on the beta that's my real forever community in the actual game like the main game so i and my main community is in trouble valley at the farmland compound that's the base i stay at and i i uh, have I have a Haven device. I have all this stuff set up. Where? Oh, there it is. I'm like, yo, there's another lootable in here. I can't find it. Uh, but yeah, I'm set up at the farmland compound in Trumbull Valley. Trumbull is one of the, uh, it's one of the best Nothing maps for a forever here. community. Let's, go. Let's get these materials back. Got this bolt too. Hi, Mom. How you doing? <laughs> Got a bug flying in my face. How you doing today? <laughs> we can just bail. We don't need to mess with that. Actually, I might need to mess with this. It is very hot. We just got back from the beach. <laughs> it was rough. But we have like a little uh, cover thing, so it was it was bearable. It's definitely bearable. Alright. Let's go ahead. I gotta say, I'm pretty com- I think I'm comfortable with doing three repair kits. Uh, we're at 600 parts. That's quite a bit. <laughs> I write a card. It, well, it, it was rough in the way of- it was hot. Um... But other than that, no, the beach, it was it was really nice. It was really nice. But yeah, that definitely has some first world problems right there. <laughs> well, time for me to move on. If you ever end up 
Now I can, now I can check this location. Okay, so it's not pre-looted. I don't think so. We might head up there. We might head up there. Pop a bandage. All right, yeah, let's do five or f what? Three. We'll do three. One. Two. And this, this will give us our four repair kits on standby. So we're sitting at four repair kits, zero gas cans. So what we might do is we'll head over and clear this area out. Ooh, we got another SUV here, too, that I might grab. So we'll get gas out of here. I'm going to grab this SUV and bring it over here. But what I'm going to do is we're going to rearm, reload. I couldn't even imagine being in somewhere like Texas. Ugh. It's hot. That's super hot. Okay, so we do got to activate rationing again. Because, yeah, right now we're losing four food a day. That should zero us out. Good on that. We'll drop some parts into this. This. All right. Any gas that we'll need to move the car over this way, I'll just... I should be able to get out of the gas station. <clears throat> Instead of having to break down some more fuel rucks right now. Super dark. Yeah, wow, it's, it's like even when we went down. What month was that that we went down? Because it was like I think it was cold here when we. It was March, right? Tram and Ivy donated fifty dollars. Yeah. Tramp, thank you so much. That is a huge donation. Seriously, thank you. And Jam, I missed it. Thank you for the seven months. I really do appreciate that. At a veteran survivor, too. That is huge. But Jam, I really appreciate it. But yeah, we it was it was like March up here. Uh, and then it was literally freezing. And we ended up going down to Texas. I, I was trying to become a, I uh, was doing like a police officer thing down there. And it, we went from, you know, being bundled up in the wintertime to sitting outside of a pool in the middle of March. It blew our, it, it blew my mind. I'm like, yo, like down in Texas, they live that good life. It's only what, maybe a couple months out of the year that you can't be in a pool. Same thing with Florida. That New York life, you only get, we only get like two or three months where it's actually like pool weather. Okay. Was this a red talon SUV or just a regular one? Just a, nope, yep, this is red talon. Yep, we got the Red Talon SUV. <laughs> Folly's like, we stay in the water. I get it. My bad. All right, so Shandy just wasted two food. That's, that was a big hit. Problem with places like Alabama and stuff like that? Oh, my God. It's humid hot there. We're starting a trend. We should be able to get a food ruck here, or fuel ruck. Oh, no fuel ruck. Just two gas cans. I feel like I've been getting skimped pretty hard lately on the rucksacks in this playthrough. Like, 
I love um, Cascade Cascade Hills as a map. I feel like it's one of the most balanced maps. But this one, oh man, maybe I'm starting. Uh, maybe I just didn't get streamer luck this time around. Because I'm, I'm definitely feeling the struggle for resources. See, the problem with New Hampshire is New Hampshire is in the same boat as New York. It's fucking freezing. It is freezing for a long time. I was, uh, I was running loads out of uh, New Hampshire, Raymond, New Hampshire, and man. Good tackle, dude. I've been asked to congratulate our recruiters on the big push to locate more electrical engineers. Thanks to you, Operation Tannenbaum may be a go. Damn, too loud. That's all I got. Jesus Christ, man. They did not want to leave me the fuck alone. Okay, so we got resources over in the other SUV. And guys, I want to thank you for almost 200 likes on the stream. Yeah, they were trying to get my ass right there. They were trying to get my ass. So we'll pop that. Mr. Juggernaut, stay the away from my base, please. Ooh. Okay, so he's coming for sure. Uh, so in this situation, I'm going to try to draw him away. Juggernauts in your base are never a good thing. See, where the hell is this guy at? Oh, I think he might be moving away. Okay, people. You be good while I'm gone. Yeah, he's minding his own biz.
You know, that was that was a butt puckering moment for anybody, guys. I, my butt was puckered. You know, I was just trying to I was trying to move and uh because the problem with ferals is you can't outrun them. They're they're just faster than us on foot. And because that car had no doors, uh when I tried to get in, they just jumped on. I was I was screwed. So at that point, I had I had stamina items and I was just like, "All right, well, we just got to try to get these ferals hung up on anything I could. And the fact that they were, they were sticking on me guys. I mean, I, I jumped through probably like what, five or six different buildings. You know what I mean? And they were, they were, they were hanging on, but I got them with that double fence through the police off the police station. But I still think there was one feral even still on me uh, when I got through the police station. All right. So we're going to get her on base defense. Yeah, I still think there was one. All right, so we got this precision. We'll swap that for this. Grab some wine mill. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna have to use up some of this food to get some more energy drinks. I'll do two batches. All right, well now I know it's not all that safe out there, so we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna roll with this setup. I'm going to head up to the Military station. Want to see if we can actually get some guns out of here. But Shandy is traveling light, so we should be good. We should be good. Might I might actually go ahead. Yo, stimulants are absolute clutch. If you can get your hands on stims, guys, you beat the game. Uh, best stamina item in the game. The problem, though, is you can't craft them, so that's why you guys see me with the... I'm trying to see where that infestation was, but I don't see it anywhere. And if it was in my region, it would be visible within this area, but yeah. So that had to have come out of a play cart. That horde there. But, uh, yeah, that's why you guys see me craft a bunch of uh, energy drinks. Because stimulants are just... There's no way to craft them. You can only, you can only get them. The best... If you guys do want to farm stims, the best place to farm them, honestly, is play cards. I'll generally move around maps for stims. We didn't need it. Seriously, dude? I took this car because it had a door, man. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to swap this car. I'm going to swap this car for the SUV. Yeah, so the price is fixed. The price is fixed on Legacy Survivors. The only thing that uh, changes is the cooldown. The more survivors you have, the longer you have to wait before you can call in more leg legacy survivors. Let's go ahead and get some gas for the SUV, which I think has gas in it. But we'll see. See, I'm going to drop this car off over there, and we'll just rock the two SUVs. There's no reason to keep this car over the SUV. Um, until it comes time to upgrade. Once I once when you upgrade this, it's it's really nice. Look at all this nothing. Really, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, how the hell did they see that was a bug or something? There's no way they seen him. Just max stealth, dude. I'm like, there's no way. Okay, so there's some decent stuff. And the only problem is, is uh, this trunk is full. So we're going to, once I get this build up, we'll, we'll swing by the outpost real quick. I'll drop this extra crap off before heading up. We'll do two. Sabrina, how you doing today? Got what, all four doors on the red talent vehicle. Bloody fist, how you doing? Eight. Please be worth the trip. How many of you guys in chat think it's going to be worth the trip over to this uh, military site? Something game changing, something huge. No, nah, Red Giant. Yeah, there's nothing. They're just skins. It's the same as the other SUV. It just looks different. The rare vehicle, though, it's not an easy one to find. Want to know what makes plague territory smell this yeah, bad. Chances might be 69 out of 420. We'll see. We'll see. Feeling good, guys. Feeling like this is it. This is our break. This is our big break right here. Mm-hmm. I can literally taste the loot. Taste it. All right, as long as these zombies don't mess it up. Here we go. Can taste it, baby. This place looks good. Eight Better containers. This is it. This is this container is the mother load. We're gonna save this one. That's like the that's like the big Christmas present. You know when you're a kid, you always you you save the bigger presents for last. We'll, we'll, we'll save that one. All right, let's start off with this little box. That's nice. Already, M17, 20 round capacity. Huge, guys. Huge handgun right here. Let's go ahead. I'm actually going to equip that baby right now. Take our uh, 20 round mag. All right. Right there. Already. All ready. It's like Christmas. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little hungry. And nope. <laughs> it's all good. Still got seven containers, you know.
It's all right. Still got a lot more containers left. Uh, oh, there, there we go. All right, it's getting a little better, guys. It's getting a little better. Getting a little better. I'm hoping that big container just blows it away, guys. It's going to make up for this. It's going to make up for this. I mean, I've granted some 556. Five, All right, here we go. Hasn't been the... It's, it's not a pointless outing, but I still have no, like, really, really powerful um, primary weapons. And that that that's what, we're, that's what we're here for. But you guys ready? So, so far, so far, what would you guys rate this out of 10? I, I mean... The loot that we've gotten so far. I would say it's probably a good, like, been pretty bad. All right. The, the best thing I got so far is fucking three hand grenades. It, it's bad, guys. You don't have to lie. I understand. Um, You know, it, it's been pretty bad. But this right here, this container is going to make everything right. Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. already we have a favor to ask of you guys <laughs> so there's that there's that um yeah don't so, move a muscle i'm on my way so they want some ammo i got a bag we I can bring them right now huh? oh there we go we have a infestation on the move. That was bad. Guys, uh, very, very not happy with how that went. We are... I got a better sidearm. That's about it. Yeah, and then I get the ruck and now somebody wants it. You know what I mean? It's like the game is setting me up. They know they know what they're doing. This is one of those lethal zone player throughs I turn into a speed run because I'm just like, you know what? I don't want I don't want I, we're just having some bad luck. We're just having some bad luck. Okay, so they are right. Damn, they hit the end of the finish house quick. Head down there and clear that out. So I, I know I got at least two infestations on the map right now. Got this one. Look how fast. That shit just... Look how fast it's moving. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Why are you, why are you bothering me, bro? Got all I can handle. Those have no chill, man. Okay. Or what we could do, or what we could do is we could move maps 
if things get rough enough um, or tight enough. We could move maps and I can showcase the new map moving system and why it's no longer as punishing as it used to be. That is an option for us too. How many, I don't know how many hearts I've killed so far. That's I think. Not gonna happen. Does anybody know? Maybe only like five. So it really wouldn't be that big of a deal. So we're going to go clear out this infestation really quick. But yeah, I could show you guys the new system when it comes to moving maps. It's it's uh, it's epic. It's a part of the new features, and we haven't even gone over it yet because, yeah, I haven't I haven't moved. So we'll do one stack. Oh, I should have installed my filling machine, dude. I'll install it for later. So this update should be dropping in. July. In July. And obviously, wherever this infestation came from is over that way somewhere. So we'll swap over to that. I can actually grab my light crossbow and bolts. And we should still be underway. Yep. So that is down. Now, the problem is I don't know where it came from. And for some reason, wherever it did come from, it's not showing up on my map. So I, I would have thought that this cell tower would have picked it up. But I guess not. It must be right outside the range. Yeah, the amount of loot on this map right now is, is pretty sorry. It, it's pretty bad. Yeah, if you get into a ba I mean, there's plenty of things I could do for food right now, guys. Like, um, uh, the main thing I'm hurting on is is weapons. I haven't really found any good weapons, and uh, but even then, that that's not a big deal because it's just guns, and I don't really use guns like that anyways. So, honestly, everything is fine. Honest, everything is fine. But I gotta say, if this was a vanilla playthrough with no legacy character that I like, because I, I transferred a legacy character over, it, I would definitely be in a worse situation. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Okay, so now they are fully, they should be full-fledged allies. 
<clears throat> Let me see, what are they giving me? Off-site ammo storage, great. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Just hoping for a better, better ally bonus than that. What are these guys? They're not even, yeah, they're just friendly. So they haven't even asked me for a mission yet. We don't have a whole lot of uh, enclaves on the map at the moment. Let's get down to business. Okay, I guess so. What a guess. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. We're going to scout the rest of these uh, play carts in this region here. I think there's probably only one more up here. I probably don't even need to do that. I could probably just uh, drive by these houses, reveal what's going on. But it would be easy if we just hit this. But I think there's one more play cart in this area. But, uh, hold on, give me a minute, I'll show you guys. So, the thing about Lethal Zone is, I know a lot of people, like, like for instance, what you guys are seeing me go through right now, I'm having a slight issue with resources. Now, the thing about Lethal, unless you're doing, like, like a challenge run, where you're like, I want this run to be super, like, super hardcore, you know, then you can put rules on yourself. But, legitimately, at this point of the game, if you're ever in the situation I'm in, especially with the new system, uh, moving maps is now, I would say, super, super viable. Because even if when you're in like a, like the problem that you used to have is say you are in a resource issue. You're having, you're having issues with resources. You're having uh, issues. Maybe there's just too many infestations and you're just, you're not in a position where you can go out and just nickel and dime resources. You used to have to leave your mid-game base with your mid-game facilities, all your outposts set up, and you would have to leave that and go back to a starter base. And then you would have to go around and clear out all of the damn play cards again uh, to get your base. And you left the map because you were having a hard time. So it, it was a pain in the ass, you know, especially if you wanted to get back into a new base. Now... With, now you can choose to move into any base you want as long as you have the people for it. Now, the fact that I'm only sitting on four survivors right now, if I wanted a five-man base, I would have to recruit somebody before moving, which we might do, but we'll, we'll look into it once we uh, get settled. So I do kind of want to test that feature out, see how it works. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to do it now just to test it. So we got we got fire. So I'm gonna draw them away from my car. C. Taylor, what is going on, man? Uh, so this beta is going to be going live in July. And I appreciate you being here, C. Taylor. There, where are you at? around but we can't secure the place with a play card close by that's nice ish All right, let's drop this crap off in the car really quick head up to the top of this tower 
So I I might recruit a survivor from that enclave that we just gave the ammo now that they're allies. And put a, yeah, you can't choose random or the random will put you in a rally point. Yep. Ford nearby. How should we handle these new neighbors? Uh, that's what the dev said for those people who want to, like, do the, you know, no base challenges or whatever. Um, yeah, if you select random, it will automatically put you in the uh, rally point. Okay, so yeah, we got these guys here. I'm not too worried about them. Let's go check this group out. I'll look at recruiting one of them, and then uh, we'll look at them moving. Just had to make sure I had the level two. It is so dark outside. Good thing I freaking went over the hill because there was a bloater right there, guys. So now it's a matter of trying to think, because I can move into any five-man base I want, right, what map should we go to? And what base should we pick? What's going on, hun? All right, so she was the craftsman with 154 on, health. Hun? It's a lot of health without having a uh, gold trait. What's going on, Lawrence man? here. Auto mechanic. And I think Natalia here. Striking and no fit skill. So we might go with Natalia just so I can craft her to be my own person. Do a poll for the map. You know what? Yeah, let's do let's let's do a poll for the map. What map? Should we move to? Anybody want to swing by and help me out here? Um, Providence. Ridge. Um, Drucker. Meager Valley. I always forget how to spell meager. It's like got like an H and shit in it. Meager Valley and spelled it bad wolf. <laughs> we'll see. That's how I spelled it. I I mean it's all good. We're not we're not in a spelling competition. All right, so poll is up. Let me know what base do you guys think we sh or what map should we move to? Hey, you, what's up? You do better with us than being stuck here with these folks. Okay, so now she has joined us. We now have five survivors. Let me see. Is there anything else I need to take care of before we leave? No. Nah. We should be fine. So I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to vote. And then we're going to move. Just right now. Just going to move. That's a lot of Drucker, man. Whoa. That's a lot of Drucker County.
Drucker's pretty up there. It's literally killing it. I I, I don't know. <clears throat> but um the drive in the the drive in there that is um I think it's a five man base, right? Or is it a six man base? I'm giving it like about one more minute and then uh but it seems like we're moving to Drucker County. Actually, I'll just start. I'll just drive over there. We'll initiate the process. Hey, man, is he, what is going on? How you doing? I am doing good. I'm doing very good. Well, the game wants me to go to Trumbull. Okay, so we will confirm. All right. So, oh, I didn't. I never. This might be new here. I never. I never seen this option here to just hit restart map. Um, but it could have always been there, and I don't pay attention. Micah. 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 Thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. I hope you're not that Micah. We all know what Micah I'm talking about. Nah, I'm just messing. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Don't take it personal. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Micah. All right. So Drucker is still winning. Providence Ridge, holy shit, jumped up to 23%. So one last announcement. If you guys want to participate in what map I'm about to join into, in the chat here, I have the a poll up. Uh, just pick what map you want me to move to. And uh, whatever one has the highest percentage here when we uh, close the poll, that is where I'm going to move. So um, as you guys can see, this is the this is the same map screen we've seen earlier on uh, when we started the game. But yeah, you can you can now choose. They, they got a nice breakdown. It shows a, a layout of the maps and stuff. Drucker County. Here we go. So these are the bases that are. We got the Volga House, Wally's Bar and Grill. That's a pretty decent base. Um, we can move straight into that. I think I can move into the Cabin Park Motel too. Uh, maybe even wheelhouse truck stop. I think I can move into a lot of these bases. Man, Providence Ridge jumped up super high. And it, it, as you guys can see here, if you choose random, you just spawn in a rally point. Yeah, Wally's Bar and Grill would probably be a pretty decent start, honestly. I believe there's a kitchen built into there. I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that might be it. I'm thinking that might be it. No, it seems like we're going to Drucker. All right, so here we go, guys. I'll end this poll now. We're going to Drucker County. And I'm going to show you guys the new system for moving. So what happens is... um. You go to your map, uh, you, or you select your map that you want to go to, hit accept, and now you get this UI that pops up. And it asks you, what base do you want to move into? Um, so I, you can literally go around and just click on a different bases, and it'll tell you whether you have the resources or not. So, for instance, this is the barricaded strip mall. This is the biggest, um, the biggest on the map. As you guys can see, I have... 684 influence. This base cost 5,250. I don't have enough influence. Why is that so expensive? Holy shit. I thought it was 3,500. Oh, clearing unfamiliar sites costs significantly more influence. Oh, I see what they're doing here. So they're making you pay to clear the locations, guys. 
I don't even have enough influence for Wally's, guys. I don't even have enough influence for Wally's. I got to... Yo, you got to pay. Okay, so we're going to have to go farm up some more influence. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to go farm up some more influence before we can move into Wally's. Uh, but we can literally just back right out of this. I'll hit cancel. Uh, sorry, folks. Just a little radio malfunction there. Please, go about your business. We need to sell a couple things to an enclave and be on our way. Nah, dude. Let me grab some stuff to sell really quick. Oh, no, yeah, it makes total sense. I'm all for it. Yeah, I don't mind the fact that it costs more to clear. <clears throat> I just wasn't prepared for it. I was not prepared for it. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll grab some of this. Sell this. 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 We'll give her a bigger backpack for this ordeal here. Sell this and I have I Wally's is really the only it's Wally's or the starter base. Those are the only two options that I even have right now. Anything else is just not practical. But it'd be cool to be able to just move straight into that base. <clears throat> I'm excited to see how this is gonna work. So uh I'll go ahead and grab this backpack here in one of these. That should get us enough influence, I'm pretty sure. Whoops. That was noisy. Go ahead and drop that. Uh, here we go. The Outstanders. Actually, let's see if this dude has any influence. What you got, man? Um, here. Oh, you fucking big time. Trade. Okay, bye. He does have some influence. So, no, no, wait, 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 you asshole. He dropped a gun on the ground? An Arctic warrior. Hmm. Um, I can't... Oh, I can pick it up, yeah. I don't have a primary on me. No, I do have a primary. What? Okay, that's a bug. <clears throat> the Arctic warrior still has the icon of my... Crossbow. Taryn with the six months. No, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, and I got a breeze here. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a crossbow. Art of Warrior Crossbow Cop. I was just trying to trying to get some impulse and the man ran away from me. All right, let's try this again. All right, that's been a long time. Darren, I really do appreciate that. Six days, hey, that's nothing to mess around with. Yeah, I've almost got a thousand hours on Steam, guys. Almost got a thousand hours on Steam. 
most of my time played uh when, I, I played this game originally on the Windows Store, and uh, most of my time was on the Windows Store. I switched over to Steam, I believe. Like, oh, now it's good. Now it's swapped over. Yeah, I swapped over to Steam. I think last year. Uh, it was right when the the beta was dropping. I think is when I I uh, officially swapped over to Steam full time. I even own the game on Epic too. I don't play it over on Epic though. Yeah, uh, Xbox displays your hours played. I checked mine before I had a ridiculous amount of time played. God, I am it was so like, sick of plague zombies. I think I'm on Xbox. I had like three thousand nine hundred and some odd hours. All right, you guys, buy my stuff. How's it going? You got something for me? Okay. Perfect. Should have sold that damn Arctic Warrior, too. Probably come down to this house and grab some more scraps. They got about 200 more influence that I would not mind getting my hands on. Nice. The seeds stack. Those will sell nice. Why do I think this one would be any different? Perfect. I don't think I'll be able to get the full 200 off them, but eh, it is what it is. Nowhere's near. Nowhere's near it. But we're all right. Uh, we're at a thousand influence. That's more than enough to move into Wally's. Move directly into Wally's. Let's try leaving again. Let's. Hopefully everything transfers good. This is gonna be a. Like I said, we're testing this right now. So hopefully our other SUV should transfer over. Uh, we should still get refunded all of our materials, which right now we're at 15, so we got to make sure we get refunded our materials. I don't know if we'll get refunded the price of our base. I thought we should, because right now, moving, it didn't take into consideration my outpost refund or my base refund, which is, they probably calculate that after you move. So even though I'm about to spend a bunch of influence, when I do move, I will get refunded influence for my base and I'll get refunded partially for my outpost. Um, and then I should get refunded all of the materials and stuff. So we just got to make sure that the refunds work properly. Aaron, if, yeah, well, yes, it, it would be very hard, Aaron, for sure. Um, if you look at any game that has, like, PvP aspects to it, uh, most of them are toxic. Like, you look at games like DayZ, Rust, um, you know, Ark, like, games like those those PvP survival type games, they can, they can get real toxic because players, they find joy in griefing other players. Like, it's just, like, they just wake up in the morning, they're like, all right, let's go screw some people over today. Now, the problem with a game like State of Decay is there's permadeath so you can have a super survivor that you've loved and cared for forever right and then some troll could just come up and troll the shit out of you and kill your your survivor uh and that that's not cool so i don't think pvp works well in games like state of k that have uh permadeath okay so drucker county and now wallies we have the influence we have the people So this one's not bad. The Kevin Park Motel is only 1500 I got the people, but I don't have the influence. So just kind of scouting around, looking at the price. All right, here we go. So we got Wally's. We start with a bar and grill. 
which is cool because that's there's my kitchen. Oh, we get two parking. We get the two clearable seating areas. We get one large outdoor slot and two small outdoor slots. So right off the bat, we know we're going to have issues with beds. So as soon as I get there, I'm going to build my barracks again in the large outdoor slot. Um, we'll get a, yeah, we'll get water outside. We'll get our uh, med bay. We should be good. So here we go. This is how it works now, guys. You can literally pick and choose what uh, base you want to move into. So, Wizard, in the beginning of the game, um, I had an aunt who lived somewhere around here and fancied herself a survivalist. I wonder if she made it this long. Morale really isn't a big deal. Um, I haven't done anything for my morale. As you can see, I'm my people have been depressed this whole entire time, and it doesn't matter. It, 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 there's there's nothing bad. Like sometimes your people will get frustrated, but as long as nobody's threatening to leave, it, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, you don't really have to worry too much about your your morale in the early game, even in the late game. Like morale is it, 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 it's 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 a thing, but it's not really a thing. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Oh, actually, never mind. How do I already have? Oh, these count as these count as beds. Two beds too. Um, so once this is built, I will rip these down. Max with the super chat. This is my last buck. Gladly, hey, Max. I really do appreciate. It. You did not have to do that. Seriously, thank you. Let's get some hearts in the chat for the for the love, guys. I do appreciate it. All right, so we got our kitchen here. Um. I will tear this down. I will tear this down right now. Um, take 40 seconds. I'll get our water built out here. Nice. 15 morale. So you can boost morale here in this base just for some ethanol and a little bit of food. And plus 15 morale is quite a bit. That would bring me that feral's head looks armored. almost a stable. So we got, look at these. A lot of bullshit around my base right now, but no play cards right up against the base. Uh, figuring out where I can place outposts now is going to be a pain in the ass. Because as you guys can see, I don't really see any clear spots. And we need to get some outposts down. If you look, everywhere is covered by plague goop. Even the starter base is covered by plague. And this area is never covered by plague. So maybe, maybe I can get lucky and check this road here. But I, I don't even think, I think we're SOL right now when it comes to an, any kind of, I just want one food outpost. Right now, we're losing 10 food a day. We can't sustain that. Jesus Christ, man. Um, so what I'm going to do, this is a, this is a, a, this is one of the cool things about the new system. Also, Natalia here is cool, but I can't afford to feed her. Honestly, guys, uh, but she's not a bad survivor. You know what I mean? Um, I need more personal space around here. Like yesterday. I, I don't think that she deserves to just be kicked to the kick, you know, to the curb. So what I'm going to do is we're going to check out what she has on check out what she has on her. I'll keep this 22. She doesn't need any guns where she's going. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll hop over to doesn't matter. We'll just swap to him really quick. Really aren't that happy at home. Hafid, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. And we're going to send her to the legacy pool. So now instead of having to just kick people out when you can't afford to feed them or you just can't afford to have them, period, uh, hey, you can just send them to your legacy pool, especially if it's somebody that you might want to play with later. So now, now what I can do is if I do want her eventually to be in my community, I can just call her back later on when I can afford to have her. But right now, we just can't afford to have her. So we're going to send her out. Your 
do nothing I wouldn't do. I'll see you soon. All right, and she's going to take off. Okay, so now our food is slightly more manageable. Uh, once I get some outposts down, we'll be all right. So the one thing that did happen, um, I'm going to make a note of this bug. When I moved bases, my command center downgraded again. Now, I don't know if that's intended, if that's how the devs want it to be, but before, you would always maintain your command post level. So I'm going to write up this bug and make sure, and just see if it even is a bug. Um... All right, there we go. So I wrote that up. Um, all right, them oh, it's not supposed to happen. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure that they, uh, our command centers used to persist uh, when you would move bases and also when you would move. Oh, thanks, babe. Uh, also, when you would move maps, but I wasn't 100 percent sure. But here we go. We are now in a new region. Uh, we have plenty of loot. Both of our cars are here. Awesome. We do have some nasty stuff around base. But what I'm going to do is we have a couple food locations right down the road. And we're going to go down there and hit those. So let's swap back to Shandy really quick. I'm going to get this gun off of her. She didn't get kicked out. No, 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 no. She just got sent to my main community. Like, like she got sent to the hub. She's still a, a survivor that I could call on um, later on in the game if I if I want to. Yeah, she is not gone. She is not gone. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. And then I will go and build Firmary. And I'll build my workshop. She's she's in she's in a better place, guys. Trust me. She's she's actually in a better place. And I'm not saying that like, you know, like she died and went to a better place. No, she's she's just she's legit, just in a better place. She bought a farm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll send uh, him out. We will send him out. So we're going to get him geared up. She's not with Bob. No, no. She's not with Bob, guys. Visage 2. Alien, there's no such... You, you don't have to troll. There's no such thing as Visage 2. <laughs> Liar. Don't listen. Alien's just, just kidding. Guys. Alien's just kidding. Right? Right, Alien? Just kidding. Is anyone going Yes, thank you for the sub. All right. Uh, I'm hoping that I could get my Yeah, we got 7 minutes left on that. This will be done in 30 seconds. I'll be able to get this uh, command center upgraded. That's definitely top priority.
I mean, honestly, if there was a Visage 2, I would have to play it. I would have to. I'd feel obligated. You know what I mean? Good news. There it is. All right, so we got that building. We got a rain collector. We're pretty much back to where we were. Honestly, that was pretty quick. This will be done in two minutes. We'll have our third outpost slot. Um, we're going to have to scout here with the cell tower. I want to see how many play cards are in the area. With that glitch, I can't even see what the hell happened there. And yeah, we're good. We're good. She's struggling so bad with whatever she's doing. Here we go. Will Ebola 2 ever become uh, Ebola 2 has been completed, guys. In our hearts, we completed it. Out of material storage. I didn't... I haven't spent all those yet. Okay, so this is going to finish... Infirmary 2. And then we'll go Workshop 2. Once that's finished... I'm not sure what else I want to build. I could... Maybe build a Watchtower. But I don't know if that's really even going to help out. Yasi, thank you so much for the eight months... What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. I definitely am. Thank you so much. Y'all see, I really do appreciate it. Um, I mean, other than that, we could build a generator for, like, power. It could build a latrine for, like, some morale. We could do, like, a little garden or something like that. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this is the new place, guys. So we're uh, we're in an old restaurant. This is the new base. I wonder if I'll ever get used to the smell around a plague heart. There's not too many play cards in this town. It'd be it'd be really really awesome. So this started off as a fresh community. Um, Zeus. Seems clear for now. But with a play card Zeus scene. That won't last. Um, we've utilized the legacy system, the new legacy system, like bringing in a survivor. We've, we've recruited one legacy survivor, um, but we just move maps, utilizing the new system. But yeah, it's the same community that we were playing. We just move maps. Ugh, we got a bloater. I see a screamer not so far. this is actually a pretty good city to oh, start in, only because still runs. only because there's a lot of loot here, guys. Like we got a lot of loot around us. Now the only problem is place can make a great outpost. is there's gonna be a lot of zombies. That's for damn sure. But if we can get these play cards cleared out, we could put ourselves in a pretty good spot. So I don't have any food outposts available here, but if I take out... Yeah, so I got to take out both of those play cards. We have three in town, period. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, we're not going to see weather in SOD2. No, uh, maybe the next game. We got the Amp Prepper, too. Honest Medics, Mysterious Broadcast. Travel to the farm to see what Taylor has to say. Only thing about these Mysterious... I'm coming to you. Is, uh... It could be the go out and find our biochem station mission, and that's a very good one to get. So we'll go check that out, and then we're going to put in some work on some play cards. We got to. Hopefully I can get at least those two play cards cleared, and we'll be able to set up outposts right here in town. Yeah, we're not using any boons either. I don't, I don't generally play with boons. Unless I'm like super testing something. Boons, in my opinion, water down the experience a little bit. Let this horde pass. Which gas do we got? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll grab some fuel. Gas up. Uh, I'm gonna go. I do want to go check this mysterious broadcast just to be safe. Um, if it's not the one I want, I'm not really gonna even waste my time doing it. Danny, thank you for the sub. But it doesn't hurt to go check. How'd I pick the zombie up and throw him? So, um, the grab mechanic, when zombies don't have legs, um, you don't, you don't grab them from behind like normal. You just literally pick them up. <laughs> and then throw them like a sack of potatoes. It's pretty hilarious, the animation. This isn't dumb. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Fine, <laughs> I'm good, man. Not what I wanted. All right, so we're going to head back up the base. We're going to prep up, and we're going to go take out these play guards. Well, that's the plan, at least. It might not actually happen like that, but we, 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 have, uh, we have a dream. We'll see how bad I can mess this up. Have I tried to play? No, I hate controllers. I'm, I'm a PC gamer. So uh, any chance I can avoid playing with a controller, unless I'm playing something like uh, something that doesn't require aim. Like this game definitely requires aiming. So I, uh, I, I prefer mouse and keyboard over controller. Yeah, what the hell happened here? Oh, maybe that survivor that I... Uh, Sent to the legacy pool. Kill these zombies. Headshot now. Uh. 
Yeah, like a sports game, I'd totally play with the controller. Hate the parking in this base. Juggernaut's gonna come now. So we're definitely going to have a lot more uh, zombies to deal with in this area. But I'm hoping that we can clear out around our base a little bit. So even having this as like a, uh, a safe area like would help with the spawns, keeping the spawns off the front of our base here. Or as an outpost. This game, Fake Roach, is for um, Xbox and PC. Okay, so let's get geared up. So I am going to bring all three of these frag grenades. I'll bring pipe bomb, two batches of fire. No, we could do a slow primary. Slow me down. Okay, so I got that sniper rifle, I got my handgun, uh, we got this axe, I got my sledgy here for the play cart, we got some explosives for the play cart. Um, what else could I potentially bring? Maybe one more batch of fire and that should be good. Now you know what? No, we'll bring one more batch of energy drinks. Uh, we'll drop that one for like here. We're gonna be we're gonna be safe, guys. We're gonna be safe this time around. That one pipe bomb really won't do much for me, anyways. So we got bullets, we got weapons, we got play gears, we got a little bit of fire, we got stamina. We should be good to go. Let me top off my health. So food is still low. You know what I'll do, though? We can enact rationing. And that should help out quite a bit. It'll cut at least... It should cut our... Our food in half. Yeah, no room for that. Olson, thank you for the sub. How you doing?
All right, so zombies that are inside come outside. Bunch of nothing in this place. I've been playing since the game came out. Or how long have I been playing for today? Yeah, we've been playing for about two hours. So that should have most of the building clear. Any zombies that were inside should have heard the combat. So I'll swap over to heavy weapons. Uh, I don't like to... Now, when you are doing your heavy weapon transition, so when you're you know, going from using your small melee to your, your, your major heavy weapon, make sure you are swapping because say I like make it halfway through this phase, right? And I don't phase it all the way. And then I get jumped by a bunch of zombies. You don't want to be out here swinging this. Y you don't, uh, especially with a survivor who's not uh, skilled for it. Um, don't be out here swinging that. So you guys got to make sure that you get good with the inventory swaps. Um, where you can just quickly, in the middle of combat, bring up your inventory, swap weapons really quick. Um, because if not, yeah, you're going to be out here stuck swinging this big thing around, and it's going to just eliminate hey, your uh, your stamina. Okay, so this is, should be in the room right here. All right, so we'll go ahead. I'm going to I'm gonna try to melee this whole first phase. And guys, I want to thank you for over 300 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. All right, here we go. This thing's fucking heavy. I should be able to throw a frag in through the window here. I believe this lines up. Yep, this room. Yeah, that wasn't enough. I'm not going to waste any more throwables. We'll just go in there with melee, finish it. Should only be like one or two hits. Maybe three hits. So that one's dead. Just gonna quickly move down to the next one. We're right next door to each other. Ooh, good hit, dude. Loader. That was a little bit of a setup. Got, oh, I got overzealous. So what I'm going to do to make this easier on myself is we're going to just we'll reset this area. I'm just going to bail. I'm going to go heal up. We'll come back after it calms down. 
Because if not, I'm going to waste a ton of resources right now that I don't need to waste. But, as you guys can see here, this is why I park my car like I do. Yeah, we got a Juggernaut coming. Yeah, I lost a lot of stamina there. That's why I, uh, I'm not messing around with that. It's a lot of stamina to lose. But I should have a first aid kit that I can clean that up with. Um, so the pros for heavy weapons, um, it all depends on what you're using them for. I only use heavy weapons against play cards. Um, I don't think they have a benefit over any other fighting style in just regular zombie combat. Except that they're just fun as hell to use. And it's fun as hell to watch the zombies just go flying all over. But heavy weapons, there's a lot of openings on where you can take chip damage swinging those heavy weapons. The animation is very long and, long and drawn out. And the zombie can easily just, boom, hit you with a little hit. And it, it's it's not, you know, game-breaking. You're not like, 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 like uh, you know, you're going to get super, super beat up. But enough of little hits, you know, it's just pointless chip damage. So we'll go ahead, and I'm going to just clear this plague off me. We'll go ahead and top off our... Ooh, you know what? I will rock a stim. Huh? Screw it. We'll rock stims. Top those off. Swap back to this. A lot of shit. Reload our handgun, and we are back in business. Gladius is the new meta. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Oh, what are you guys doing up there? Cool story, dude. Cool story. Oh, okay. I think they felt disrespected. I got a bunch of materials for moving moving maps. Thank you for reminding me of that though, because I do gotta spend these damn materials on something. What the hell am I doing here? Okay, well. Sure. Um Still don't know what the hell I want to build out here. You know what? Actually, we'll build a still. I'll end up tearing on this rain collector because rain collectors and stills do the same thing, except rain collectors are stupid cheap. Um, but stills also provide you water. I've got some news for you. See, Hunchell, thank you for the sub. All right, let's do it. I think I got what two hand grenades left. Yeah. to make a bunch of noise and bring the whole town down. We'll just go through the back to see the doors open. Actually, this window's open. Okay, so we are good. Let's get this going. I'm going to pop a stim. Good. 
down to my last one. I'm sorry, are you there ready? Is. We'll have some more. Lord C, thank you for the sub. Is that not enough to phase it? Loader alert. Yo, what happened to my stamina? He's used it all. So I'm gonna end up clearing these zombies off so I can do. Should be good. That's a lot of crap to haul around. All right, so now we have this whole town um, for ourselves. We got these two play cards that we can do. We got food there and food there. Double food rucksacks. It's great. Bunch of nothing in this place. It's great. Yeah, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go get a food out or an outpost set up, and uh, we'll come back for all these goodies. And we got a preppers ten twenty two. There it is. There it is. We got a good, uh, a really good primary weapon here. Yeah, the daytime has lasted quite a bit. I think it's because when you move maps. It starts the game over at, like, the very, very beginning of the day. Let's dump as much in here as we can. Grab it. I think we might be able to fully loot this. No. Six slots. I only have five. That's damn heavy. Flag, brother, you did not have to do that, man. That is huge. Flag, with the five gifted subs again. Like, you've gifted, like, 40 subs, dude. That is absolutely amazing. And everybody who got a gifted sub, welcome to the family. Show some love to my man, Flags, on the play. Out here, hooking people up with the gifted channel membership. One? Yeah, one. Really, dude. Let me out. Woo, that was some good shooting there. Appreciate that. 
kill him. Kill him, kill him. Thank you. Guys are really. I just wanted the outpost, man. Um, how do you throw backwards darts? What do you mean? Like, how do you throw stuff behind you? Like, uh, you. So when you throw an item, for instance, like if I want to throw a Molotov, um, you throw it in whatever direction your camera is facing. So you want to make if you're looking backwards with the camera like this, your character will throw it behind him. All right, so yeah, this is going to be a good spot here. I don't know where I should put the second one. I was thinking about maybe doing it right here, but then I'm like, uh, are those too close together? So then maybe we should clear out this play cart and then use this peddler's barbecue as our second outpost. Oh, let me get this set up. Let's see, let's see what the other... The radius is looking like. Swanee, brother, what the super chat? The other day my wife asked me to pass her lipstick. I accidentally passed her a glue stick. Now she isn't talking to me. <laughs> Swatty brother, thank you so much. How you doing today, man? Are you are you feeling back to normal yet? Got us a goddamn outpost. If we put some extra time into this place, it could really pay off. All right. So with these two guns, I no longer have to carry an extra stack of ammo, which is beautiful. Uh, we'll grab that. Yeah, you know what? We'll send him back. We'll send him back to rest. I hear you there, man. It's good to hear that you're doing feeling a little bit better, though, man. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. So she's got a little bit of blood plague, but nothing, nothing major. We don't have to worry about that. Yeah, Tram with the five gifted subs. Thank you, guys. I'm not gonna find anything else here. Tram, thank you, thank you. That is huge, and welcome to the family, everybody who just received a gifted uh, membership to the channel. Absolutely killing it, guys. You guys have been showing me so much love. It's unbelievable. So go ahead and grab that. Um, and what was the secondary? Yeah. Go ahead and throw some parts on there. I feel like I'm dragging on levels, though. You know what we should have built? A damn fighting gym. That's what we're going to build. We're going to build a fighting gym once this is done. But Dram, thank you again. I do appreciate the gifted members. And I want to thank everybody in chat. Almost 400 likes on the live stream. You all are awesome. Er all right. So, yeah. You know what? We could do another safe zone here. Yeah, they, they won't overlap all that much. Uh, all I was worried was that they were literally going to be on top of each other. Uh, no, uh, Zeus, you know, I play the I play the main game too. I think I'm going to Austin Powers the car here, guys. I don't even know how it got in here like this. Max, thank you so much for the super chat. Now, there was a juggernaut. I seen it. Um, all right, we're good. We'll park over here. Uh, 
what I was gonna say. It was a 22. Jesus, Winston scared the shit out of me, bro. I'm the hell is licking my arm. Where, 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 where? One, two, three. Zombies are pouring out, man. Good grab. No, they missed. Nice. Let me get my damn outpost, man. So I was thinking about playing some No Man's Sky next. Oh. So we got a building full of zombies, and that might call the juggernaut. That's definitely going to call a juggernaut. So I can get this outpost and bounce. <laughs> We're out of here, dude. Two juggernauts. We got, we got, we got it though. We got it. I mean, I super badly want to play Humankind again, very, very badly, but uh, if I got some time, I might do that over on Twitch. So uh, there was a juggernaut standing down the road, and the zombie did its little scream up in the air. So as soon as I seen the zombie, the, and I knew the radius was going to be big enough to call in the juggernaut. I knew, So that's how I knew the juggernaut was going to come. Okay, so I think... Our food situation is now under control. Let me see here. Yeah, we're zeroed out. That is with rationing still. But we got two food outposts. And I'm thinking I might even be able to get a third. But we have another food ruck here we're going to be able to pick up. Yeah, when we clear out this heart, I might just go ahead and make a third food outpost. I, I like to run three. And I feel like we'll be good at that point. We won't really, food won't really be an issue. Yeah, I, I really, really want to play Humankind again. Uh, we're in a bad spot, guys. If you guys think I'm in a bad spot right now on this playthrough, I'm, I'm in a real bad spot on that game. So, um, but yeah, I think we're going to end it here, guys. I appreciate almost 400 likes on the stream. Uh, I'm going to hop off. I'm going to finish eating dinner. And that was lightning. Ooh. Was huge bolt of lightning um but i'm gonna i'm gonna eat my dinner and then uh we'll hop back on and probably play some a few hours of no man's sky too so thank you all for your support and all the love uh you all are amazing the best people in the world right here on this strat live stream you guys are super amazing and we're all done here. but if you have it on your way out a smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to see more State of Decay content. Uh, it's the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying it. That's how I uh, divvy what I'm going to play is based off of, you know, what videos are doing the best. If you guys are, you know, destroying the like button on State of Decay, there's going to be more State of Decay. Um, and, and that's just how it goes. And if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really does help out. And if you want to see me play some off-channel stuff i do live stream over on twitch every now and again uh to play some like random stuff like i'm over there playing humankind right now and it's a it's a really good time so thank you all again uh why don't you <laughs> never max uh but thank you guys again i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next one peace